So, what are we doing today? We have ratio and proportions. Oh. Hungry again. Want me to make you some cookies? <laughs> no, I'm allergic to wheat. <laughs> beet cookies? What? We could triple the recipe. Jumbo Healthy Beet Cookie Proportion Challenge, go! So welcome to Math Club's Healthy Cookie Proportion Challenge, spectacular, whatever you call it. Our challenge, to make an enormously healthy beet cookie and explain proportions. Mm -hmm. First things first, do we have a recipe? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Um. so each one recipe makes 24 cookies, which is actually a ratio, one to 24. And if we triple the recipe like we're doing, then we're gonna get 72 cookies. That is a proportion, a comparison of two ratios. One to 24 is the same thing as three to 72 mathematically. Why? Because if we simplify three to 72, it equals one to 24. They are actually the same ratio. So you wanna start? Uh, Let's get okay, I need one beet and one egg, please. Okay, well one beet and one egg, that is equal to three beets and three eggs because we're tripling the recipe. Why? To stay in proportion. So we're gonna have to blend them. Okay, yeah. in they go. Three eggs and three beets. I'm kinda scared. One good one egg. Ah! Magenta, my favorite color. Okay, so the next step is to get two teaspoons of raspberry jam and then melt it for 10 seconds. But we changed the recipe. We are tripling it, so for sure. what's the ratio? One way to solve this problem is by making a ratio table. We know that the ratio of recipes to teaspoons of jam is one to two. For every one recipe, we add two teaspoons of jam. So for two recipes, we'd need four teaspoons of jam. And for three recipes, we'd need six teaspoons of jam to stay in proportion. Say that we have four instead of six, we definitely wouldn't be in proportion, it would not be sweet enough. Next step we need is to get six ounces of vanilla flavored Greek yogurt and then blend it in with the beets. Okay, so three times six, that is eight ounces. Kids, make Wait, sure- Wait, it's not eight, it's 18. Yes, <laughs> sorry, kids, make sure that you use the right units. Yes, six times three oh, is definitely- Let's, let's be 18. nice to the yogurt. I'm so sorry, yogurt. All we need to do now is take our jam, our beets, and our yogurt and blend them together. It's like springtime in a glass bowl. Now we need three fourths of a cup of rice flour and blend that, or combine that, with one teaspoon of baking powder. But okay. um, we are tripling the recipe, and so if we need three fourths cup of rice flour, we have three fourths to one recipe and x to three, so we have to take three fourths times three, which gives us two and one fourths cup of rice flour. I'm on it, guys, don't worry. All right. <laughs> you're, you're like adding so much. It's all coming out, guys. Wait, <laughs> why are you measuring it? it? What? No, it should be too. Right. We want them to Sorry, turn out. I'm bad at cooking. But we need one fourth too. You need one exactly extra. two cups and one fourth of a cup because we want to see in proportion, right? And then we need the one teaspoon of the baking powder. But uh, we need three because we're tripling the recipe. So three teaspoons of the baking powder. Three. Oh, that's so cool. We could yeah. just use a tablespoon then. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Did you guys get that? There's three teaspoons and one tablespoon. So because so we tablespoon. originally needed one teaspoon, so. but we tripled it, so now we need three teaspoons, we're just gonna use one tablespoon. There we go. We're adding the beet mixture to the flour. Oh, I'll have it. And just mix it together. Wow! Mix it. This is like the coolest cookie recipe I've ever made. Now I need one half cup of shredded coconut. Oh, but let's do it without a measuring cup. Okay, so if we're um we're doing it without measuring cups, let's start with the amount that we need, which is one half cup. So we need one half cup to one recipe, so x to three. So if we're solving for x, we want x to be on its own. So let's move the three to the other side of the equation. If we multiply both sides by three, the threes on the right cancel out, leaving x by itself. But on the left, we have one half cup times three. So three times one half cups is three halves, or one and one half cups of shredded coconut. There you go. 
Uh, okay, but the bag is actually in 12 ounces. The bag is so, 12 ounces. Yeah, so, so how many ounces are in a cup? Eight ounces to one cup. Okay, so if we have eight ounces to one cup, we need X ounces to one and a half cups. So eight times one and a half gives us, uh, eight times, what am I thinking? Wait, what? 12, 12 ounces, we need the whole bag. Wait, yeah, how much is this? 12 ounces. Just do it. <laughs> Mix it all up. It's like up. snow, guys. So the next part we need to do is take the batter that we made, put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Okay, do it like that. Do you just eat it? Yeah. How is it? I like it. <laughs> While the batter is in the freezer, we're gonna make the topping. We're gonna blend 10 almonds in a blender. But, um, but since we're tripling the recipe, we need yeah. to do that to the amount of almonds as well. Oh. So 10 times 3, 30 almonds. Run, so now that we have ground our almonds, we're gonna take a fourth of a cup of shredded coconut. And let's make it fun. Let's do it without a measuring cup. So what do we need to change it to? We need to change it to with my calculation. One quarter of a cup times three is three quarters of a cup because we're tripling the recipe. But we need ounces, not cups. Hannah told us there are eight ounces in one cup. So eight ounces to one cup equals X ounces to three quarters of a cup. We want to get X on its own. We have to multiply both sides by three quarters. On the right, the three quarters cancels out. And on the left, three quarters times eight gives us 24 fourths. But if we simplify, our answer is six ounces. So this entire bag is 12 ounces. 12 so ounces. We need six ounces, so half the bag. Okay. okay. Ooh. Ooh. So now what we're gonna do is take our batter and then we're gonna dip it into our toppings and then put it on the cookie sheet and flatten it out to cook. Now that we have all our cookies nice and pretty on the cookie sheet, we're gonna put it in the oven for 10 minutes to bake. In the meantime, while our cookies are baking, why don't we talk about some proportions? Let's say we have five kids for every, or five kids and 24 cookies, right? Yeah. But then we wanna figure out how many cookies we need if we have 20 kids. Okay. So we have two ratios, but we have an unknown variable that we wanna figure out, right? Let's set up a proportion to show that the ratios are equal. Five recipes to 24 cookies equals 20 recipes to X number of cookies, because that's the unknown. See these bars? They mean division, so we can use multiplication to simplify. Multiply both sides by 24. Multiply both sides by x. We wind up with the equation 5x equals 20 times 24, or 5x equals 480. If we divide both sides by 5, we are left with x equals 96 cookies. So we need 96 cookies to feed 20 kids to stay in proportion with our recipe. Okay, so another way you can do this is by creating a ratio table. You take 5 to 24, then you double that and take 10 to 48, and then you double that and take 20 to 96. Our cookies are done! Woo! Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Got it. Ta-da! Don't touch. Now that our cookies are out of the oven, let's see. After removing from the oven, instantly push, oh, instantly, get them! Instantly push a dark chocolate almond on top of each cookie. And they're gonna melt really nicely and become delicious beet cookies, I guess. Yeah. Allow cookies to cool before consuming. Don't, no, no. I'm not consuming, I'm touching. Okay. Well, our cookies are cooled down, so I guess we can dig in. Woo! They look delicious. Who's gonna eat all these with me? Because I know I am. You are. I am yourself. by myself. Am I not? Yum. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh my really? god. Hey, I'm allergic to wheat. For me, this is really good. <laughs> they are good. I didn't think I would like beets. Well, I mean, I, I just like beets. I don't think I'd like these, but I actually do like them. I stuffed the whole thing. I don't know. Why I keep eating it. It's not that good. It's really good. Hey, don't teeth. ruin my fancy. <laughs> I like it. I miss bread. This is so much fun, guys. You're not doing anything. Well, I will soon. <laughs> Whoa. Now I don't need to say things are genius. Oh, I get you. <laughs> and that's proportions and ratios cooking with the mouth clubbies. And that's a darn good cookie. Mm -hmm. You guys should make them. 
best cooks ever. The next Betty Crockers. 